Hi guys, how are you all doing? This is MJT Reviews, bringing the best in model kit reviews. I hope you're all keeping well. Hope you're all keeping good this evening. Um, so today, um, I'm going to be doing my um, Seeking update um, for you guys. And the uh, new improvements on the Seeking that I've got coming, um, I'm doing an LED lighting system. So basically once it's on its diorama i'm gonna be lighting it up so when it's in the air it can shine down on the people who are in the water and get them to safety i'm also going to be um adding, adding a rope winch which is the winch that hooks onto it i'll show you uh, it's this system here and while they're dangling the rope down i'm going to be putting it on like a little basket sort of thing and then um, so it can do the rescuing um, that way. Also, um, on the base at the bottom, once I do all the sea and everything else that I'm doing, you know, as the the waves go all rushing because of the force of the um, the wind coming from the rotor blades, I'm going to do an overturned yacht that's overturned or being damaged. Um, and my diorama parts include a new wood base. So the wood base is probably going to be about this big I'm gonna have it a decent size and then I'm gonna get all the parts to make the water scheme look really really good and then the interesting part is I'm gonna get an invisible tube and that's basically it's like how do I put it say there's a pencil here um, I mean a pen sorry not a pencil but uh, as you can see it's got that invisible part there which is here and it's just a little bit bigger and it goes all the way down and you can't really see the tube so it's, it's going to be like invisible so you can't see it and it's just going to give that illusion that when I tilt it like that or have it up a little bit and you know it's just going to give that really good illusion um, and then that's what I'm going to do on that one also guys to all my subscribers on here um, I'm going to be doing an Airfix free flying hours giveaway now, this is an interesting part that I want to um, talk about. Um, in every single Airfix kit, guys, you always get these flying hours are located on the side of your um, Airfix model where the skill levels are. And basically, I don't collect them. And what's the point in wasting them? So what I figured I was going to do to all my subscribers, all you've got to do is just give me a little comment underneath and just say, hey, I'm interested in the Airfix uh, flying hours. Um, could I be included? Um, could I have them or, you know, anything like that? And I will get your details and get them sent away to you. Um, and it's that simple. Uh, just because rather than waste them, you know, they'd be better off going to somebody else. Also, I'd like to give my mate um, Ashley Sparrowhawk um, a little shout out. Um, if you're listening, uh, <clears throat> if you're listening, Ashley, um, I had a little bit of um, some money issues, um, that's why I couldn't get them sent out to you. But they will be getting sent out to you. Don't you worry. Um, so I've got the flying hours here in a bag. So I'm just gonna open them. So these are the flying hours right there, and there is 16 flying hours all in tokens right there. And those are going to get sent to you because you were the first one that asked for them. Um, and also, um, I'm going to be mentioning the giveaway list. So I created a new list, guys. So this is for the Atlas um, giveaway. So all these people here have been added to the list. <clears throat> so we've got Ashley Sparrowhawk, a number one guy. So he's on there. We've got Josh Mallard, we've got Next Base, we've got Tiger Tank 2, we've got Jack's Models coming in, we've got Principal Drew's Models, we've got Mr. Moo's Models, <laughs> funny name, uh, we've got D-Wing ENG, we've got Motty's Models, um, definitely yeah, go and check his channel, he's a really great guy, um, we've got Made Modeler, we've got Taylor's World coming in, um, in the middle right there. Go and check uh, Taylor's World ch uh, channel out. Um, tomorrow we're going to be uh, doing a really funny video on his channel. 
If y'all don't know Taylor's world, he's my, he is my uncle. And um, I'm going to be joining on his channel tomorrow. Um, and also, we are going to do some more really good videos. Um, we've got some coming up of pillboxes that are based in Seaton Crew, which is a, a local seaside near where to, uh, to we live. And there's also some in Red Car as well. And we're just going to go out there and just explore these old pillboxes from the war and just um, give our reviews out on it. And there will also be some uh, funny videos added in, a, in there as well. So make sure you go and check uh, Taylor's World's channel out and just tell him that I sent you. <laughs> um, so this is um, the list that I'm going on. So here we are. So we've got Farron Adams coming in. We've got Sabre Dog F86. Nice. We've got PC Plod coming in. <laughs> You're a nice name. Really like that. <laughs> PC Plod. What a name. Um, we've got Sphinx Roots. Or Reets. I don't know how to spell that, but I'll just say Sphinx. We've got Luanis. We've got Neil Tatlock. We've got Carlos. Carlos. Um. We've got Night Train. All aboard the Night Train. <laughs> we've got Bruno Jung. We've got ALT Models. We've got David Dickinson. We've got Paskins Railway. Drone Man Productions. We've got Al Woods Models. JJ Historical Models and Christopher Chambers. So guys, we've got quite a few people on my list. Now in order to win this A400 um, M Atlas which is 144 scale by Ravel. All you've got to do is put in the comment section down below in the link and um, just tell me how long you've been a subscriber, what you like about my channel and what got you into modeling. It's, it's, it's that simple, guys. Honestly, it couldn't be any simpler and you could be the proud owner of that kit. And I would love to see it go to somebody um, and I'd love to see them build it as well on the channel. Nothing could make me happier. So get your comments down, guys, and I will put you directly onto the list. Maybe this will go into um, a two-sheet or a three-sheeter, maybe. Um, I'll, I hope to have quite a lot of you on there. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, guys, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and make sure you tap that little bell on the side just so you're notified of every time I upload a video. Um, if you're not um, on my Twitter account, it is www.twitter.com dash at Mike MK44. That's Mike MK44. And um, just add me on there and I will talk to you on Twitter as well. And that's it guys. So, away with that and we'll get on to this wonderful Sea King. So... You right, guys? <laughs> um, well, just knock that little bit off. You know, it's, it's very easy to knock these parts off, honestly. It's crazy. So, <clears throat> anyway, this is how far I've come with the uh, Sea King. So, I'll just get the box down. So, hopefully, I've got it the right um, shininess. You know, when I first started this model, guys, um, I uh, messed up on the paint. Um, I got a Ravel enamel colour and it was a horrible matte colour and it just showed the fingerprints it was just nasty it was horrible and as soon as I went to the model shop and I got a Humbrol 69 yellow which was a yellow gloss it came out absolutely fantastic you know I love it absolutely love it and there's still a lot more work to go on this uh, Sea King um, this Sea King is not the old tooling kit guys now what I'm going to say about that, I'll just put that back down there again. Um, I've seen the old kit of this, um, which is the old standard, but this one's the new standard. Now what I mean by it being new is, it's all based out in red. And if you look on the inside of the actual booklet itself, you'll see that all the individual parts here are all indicated in red. And I think that's good for the younger generation, because if the younger generation are going into model kits... They can understand this booklet a little bit better and then i'll give them an idea of how the model goes together and you know they still need adult supervision obviously um but i just think it's an outstanding good idea it's really really good 
And um, the only downside is I don't like is when I first got this model, guys, the decals are just not very good. Um, you know, for such a nice model like this, I thought the decals would have been a little bit bigger um, and had a lot more variety. But it's still good. It's still all right. Um, these parts here were the instrument panels. So what I mean by that is down here on the inside, you can actually see the panel work. I don't know if you can see it just inside here. Um, very hard to put in, but comes out, well, really, really good. So, what I'm going to tell you about this um, kit so far is that I've done a really, really good trick, guys, and I really, really want to show you this trick that I've done. Now, for anybody that's moving out of their place, whether you're moving out your mams or whether you're moving into your own property, uh, we all know how much of a nightmare helicopters can be. I've been through loads of helicopter kits, and these things here, the rotor blades that go on the top, if these break, they're a nightmare to stick back on, guys. Honestly, I've been through so many and ended up just binning the kits because I just didn't know what I was doing. And it, they can just break so easy. So what I'm going to tell you right now, guys, a little bit of um, advice here. <clears throat> you see this bit here that you get right at the top? This little part here, right? This little part here that's sticking up, make sure that it's dry. It's got no glue, no residue on there whatsoever. And make sure no glue or no contact touches it. And then once you've fully built the rotor blades up, make sure this little hole here right in the middle, no glue or nothing gets inside there at all. It has to be dry as well. Now once you've painted all this and just painted around there, making sure you get no paint in the hole or anything like that, what you can then do... Just grab your rotor blades and then if you place it right on the top of your model, right, that just like so, as you can see, basically it just means that you can take it off again and then you can put it back on again. And it's that simple guys, it really is that simple. And you don't damage your rotor blades that way. And what's really, really cool about it is, if you get your finger, look how cool that is. I mean, how that adds so much realism to the actual helicopter as well. And, you know, and it's that simple, guys. You can, either, you can just take it off, and it just won't damage the actual model itself. It just will not damage it at all. See how easy it is? You can just put it back off again. And once that's stored away, you know, you won't break the rotor blades. And uh, it's that simple. A little bit of advice, guys. Remember, MJT <laughs> shows you quite well. <laughs> um, I'm just giving that advice out there. So let's have a look what, where we are at this present moment. I have took some of the uh, cockpit glass out because that's next. So there's your cockpit glass there. Now I'm going to be masking, taping this up, so because I don't want to get any paint on the actual windows itself or any glue for that matter because we all know the glue can actually stain the glasswork and it just looks so unprofessional so um I'm gonna find out where we're at this moment. Okie dokie let's have a look. Um yes we finished that part. Um we're right here guys so this is the part where we're at so this is the winch where the rope goes down so this is the part where i'm going to be um putting it right here and it's going to go down once i've done that and then i've got some other parts to do i mean just look how crazy this is guys um it's been a really really good uh, model to build actually i've really enjoyed the build um really enjoyed it um, so that's how far I've come with the Sea King. Uh, today, I added this part on the back. Um, I added that part on. And um, I added some other parts on, like I blackened these off, which are supposed to be black. Blackened that bit off as well. And then I did inside the engines here. And what I've also done is, I've added a little bit of oil inside of there. 
like some black and just rub my finger on because it gives that illusion that when people have just been in it's sort of like oily so it's like weathering and stuff and it's really cool and I really like it so that's that and I'm gonna get this little back um, rotor blade to put on the back as well and here are some of the parts so we've got the back door so I'm gonna keep that back door on the sprue and I'm going to be painting that yellow to go on the door and um, there's some other bits on there as well then we've got some aerials here which I'm going to be putting on okay um, these parts I don't need to use so and then we've got that part there that needs to go on top and then we've got another part here which I'm going to attach the winch to so I need that um, we need that part to go underneath the fuselage also some of these bits here need to so it's going to be absolutely awesome when this is done guys honestly it really is the best thing about it is the things that you don't use guys don't throw them away um, because that's, what I, that's a mistake that I made I always used to throw the parts away if you keep some of these parts that can come in really handy um, as like scratch builds and things like that so I'll never get rid of them guys always keep them spare parts we've got some of the bits here some of the bits there so we've got some more little tiny bits and bobs to put on this uh, Sea King um, you know it's, I, I love the Sea King helicopter I really do it's a shame that it's no longer in service well at least I don't believe it is um, uh, I've, I've, I have seen it land at Middlesbrough one time and it was absolutely, I, I loved it but my phone died at that time when I seen it and I was so gutted um, but it was really good seeing it, it was loud as well wow, very loud um, so, that's basically what you get with this Westland Sea King very very good model guys, Abs very very good model um, and I hope you all stay with me and stay subscribed to my channel because um, I've got some relatively uh, good ideas um, I'm going to still be doing the models guys don't get me wrong I'm still going to be doing the models no matter what um, I've got some things coming up uh, soon um, on the uh, 10th of August I'm going all the way to Blackpool for the air show and I'm going to be posting videos of the air show on there and then on the 7th of September, guys, I'm going away with my family to Benidorm. Cannot wait for that. Um, as you know, I went to Benidorm last year. Um, and it was alright in some ways, and most ways it wasn't. Um, you know, I don't really want to get into that. But the guy who took me, I'm thankful that he took me with him. It could have been better, but, you know, I'm going with my family this time. So it's, hopefully it's going to be really, really good. Uh, because... Not only am I going to be on my channel, I'm going to be on my Uncle Alan's channel as well. So you can expect some crazy funny videos coming along. <laughs> um, I know next year, my new adventure next year is going to be RC. Um, I've flown some RC helicopters before. Um, I flew a medium sized one um, that I bought that had a camera underneath it. Uh, but the bad mistake is I flew it in the house and uh, my sister wasn't too pleased with me because I broke the light bulb <laughs> um, and I broke two blades on the helicopter which I wasn't happy about um, but the camera survived <laughs> um, but I'm gonna try getting back into it maybe um, I might get an RC plane I'm gonna be getting some RC cars as well um, so next year I'm just gonna be going into RC there is going to be some models in there as well guys so don't worry the modeling will always be a part of me and I'll always going to build models for you I'm always going to do that I might be building some ships and some submarines next year hopefully um, see what comes out of that um, and you never know what's around the corner guys you never know what I'm going to surprise you with next so stay tuned and you'll all be surprised and uh, I just want to personally thank you all for subscribing um, what I will say about the list guys that I've made on the list is that I know that you're all going to be a part of the A400M giveaway 
What I forgot to mention is, guys, is the runners-up. Now, I've got something in line for you as runners-up. So the people who don't actually receive this wonderful kit that I've got in the giveaway, you, the runners-up, you are all going to get a nice, lovely little kit. And it might not be a massive size kit, but it'll still be a kit, guys. So don't you worry, guys. Either you'll get the flying hours, or you'll get the kit. So... You'll still get something off me, guys, and that's a guarantee. And um, with that in mind, guys, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching this um, Sea King video. Um, there will be more updates on the Sea King coming up in the future, um, once I get the diorama base and everything for it. Um, so make sure you subscribe, make sure you uh, hit that notification bell. Um, you know, and I'm just so thankful to each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel and i'm going to try to get it um a little bit more better for you guys and you know because i don't want you to get a rubbish model i've been there and you know as i always say guys take care of each other have a wonderful evening and keep on modeling guys because we don't want this hobby to die and i definitely don't want it to die because it's my favorite hobby so thank you very much for watching take care of each other and have a great fantastic night and i will see you in the next reviews that I put out. Thank you very much for watching. Bye guys.